Hey, God bless. This is the Reverend Schnorr. You may be seated. You forget to pay the electric bill. Anyhow, I'm going to tell you how to make pickled eggs. All right? Uh, I got these already done. First thing you want to do is you want to boil some eggs. And it depends on how many you want to make. You make six of them. You can make eight of them. You can make a dozen, two dozen. It doesn't matter. You boil them. If you don't know how to hard boil an egg, you find an adult to help you. Basically, you put raw eggs in their shell already. Don't crack them open. Put them in boiling water for 12 minutes. 12 minutes, they should be boiled. All right? And put the eggs immediately into an ice bath. All an ice bath is is a bunch of ice bathing in water. And you're going to then bathe the recently hard boiled eggs in the ice bath. That makes it easy to peel them. So now you're gonna peel those hard boiled eggs carefully so you don't rip them open and you put them in a jar. You're gonna get some dill, some garlic, some onion. You can even use some yellow mustard seeds here. I'm gonna put some of them in there, okay. And you put them in the with the eggs in a glass jar, and then you. Oh, if only you could smell this: egg and garlic and onion and dill. Ooh, smells like a good old shoe. All right, and we got a couple more things to add to this here. So now I'm gonna take. A cup of vinegar. We add a little more. Don't gotta be exact. This is just a white vinegar. Okay, I might put yeah in a pot. I'm gonna just use the same pot I put the eggs in. Then we get a cup of water. A cup of water, so it's about half and half vinegar and water. Got that. Now a tablespoon of salt, a tablespoon of sugar. Salt. And the same thing, a tablespoon of sugar. Get all the rocks out of your sugar and whatnot. Tablespoon of salt, tablespoon of sugar. Yeah, up. All right, and you turn on the heat. And you're gonna cook that. I was gonna use a hot plate. You cook this until the salt and the sugar are dissolved in the water. So we don't gotta boil or get real hot. It's just gotta dissolve it your stuff there. The sugar and the salt, for the most part now, is dissolved into the warm water. So I shut the heat off. It smells like Easter eggs. It's a little warm to go in this glass jar, so I'm going to let it cool a little bit and then pour it in. And then it's just got to sit and let the magic work. Pour that in, and you let them sit. Right here, I'll add a little mustard. Mustard seeds here. A little celery salt, or you can put celery seeds or whatever you got. I don't have celery seeds, so you celery salt. And you let all that sit. You want it to sit for at least 24 hours in a refrigerator. You got to refrigerate this. I know back in the old days, it seems like we didn't refrigerate nothing. This has got to be refrigerated or you get botulism and you get, you're going to die. So, But it'll stay fresh in your fridge for up to like two months. Double check that on someone else's site, but I think it's two months in your fridge. Or if you're going to have a party, you can leave them out for an hour or so without them getting bad. And when you need it, you just throw them, in the, throw them back into the, uh, the fridge and you got them for later. So that is pickled eggs. You know, we can't get to the tavern like we want to get to. And, you know, this is a staple of the taverns and your little corner bars and stuff. And this is a way to kind of bring the corner tavern home to you until you can get out. And go visit your favorite joint. All right.
Is the Reverend Schnorr? Pickle eggs? Yeah, check back for more recipes and other things. In the meantime, you have one for me because I'm going to have one for each one of you. God bless.